Nothing is as fun as making a jackass film, and it's been, what, 10, 11 years since we made the last one? It's so fun, and the new cast we have, is, they're perfect, and uh, I can't wait for you to see it. I mean, we've been through so much on and off screen, right? We've been through a lot, and not only have our friendships endured, they've gotten stronger. And you feel that when you're watching the movie. You feel like it's a really close, dysfunctional family. I really felt that when I was watching it. For the, for the first hour, it was a little weird, right? Honestly, the, the old guys were like, who are these new cast members? And the cast members were like, I hope we get accepted. But it, it, they just gelled. Like that first day, they just gelled. And they've become such good friends. They're part of the family. Well, I think Steve-O said it best. He's like, you don't want to be on a roller coaster alone. You want to be on a roller coaster with everyone else. So it's definitely, you go through a lot of emotions when watching a jackass film, and it's best to have your friends around and a bunch of people around. It's just as outrageous as the others, and you know, you get to see the new cast, and you, basically you get to see old friends just giving each other hell, and people you grew up with. Like, us and the fans are all a family, so, you know, come see your family. Oh my god, I'm so excited that it's finally here. I still can't believe it. I'm like, are they pranking me today? Because I can't believe it's finally here. I had the best time. I, it's such an honor to join this crazy family, and I, uh, I, I never want to stop. There's something really amazing about experience a Jackass movie on screen in a theater with a bunch of random people. It's, it's, it's almost orgasmic, like laughing together, and it really can only be brought to life on the big screen. Oh man, I'm very excited because I only seen the early cut of it, so I don't know what's been changed, what's been added, so I'm going to enjoy it just how everybody else will for the first time low-key, so I'm really excited for that. Well, initially I was nervous, but as soon as we got that first like test shoot going, everybody was so comfortable, open hands, welcoming, so it was, it was, it was cool, like it was no like weirdness or like, oh, like you're new, it was just simply just a great bond just happened instantly like that. Man, everybody had a really rough past, like, what was that, two years or whatever? And I think it's time for everybody just to forget about everything for two hours, sit down, grab some popcorn, and laugh with just a whole bunch of people you may or may not know. 20 years since the first movie, 22 years since the episodes were on MTV, and now we're back here at Chinese Man again. I was in right from the first email. When they said go, I said in. I've been like, we've been wanting this. And we, we would meet up and get things together here and there. And so this time when it was really happening, I was like, yes, in, let's go. Uh, the new people, they kind of just came in. They got lucky. They came in real smooth and easy. 
But there were a couple bits that some of us vets didn't want to do, and we were just like, no, this is yours. You got to do this. So we, I wouldn't call it hazing them, but we did do some sort of hazing on the new guy without anything. This is the best time for a Jackass movie right now because people need to be out together. We're a society and we need to be social and this is the perfect way to be social and the most comforting way to just be out there laughing and forgetting about what's going on and what people are saying and all that. All the negativity, gone. This is going to make people laugh so hard and laughter is healthy. So we're bringing pretty much medicine to the world. You know, without, with, this is healthy medicine. I'll say it's very important to see Jackass forever in the theater because that's the only way we've ever wanted people to see Jackass. All the movies, everybody has said it's the best to see it in the theater. Oh my God, it's a dream come true. Are you kidding me? I, I grew up watching these guys. Yeah, I mean, Jackass came out when I was in 12th grade, so it hit me at a pivotal crossroads in my life. So it's very surreal and, and exciting to be here. I'm aroused. My nips are erect. Yeah, they're like copper rivets. They're like diamonds. They can cut through stained glass. It's primal. It's primal laughter. It's not esoteric or cerebral. It's playing to your inner caveman. It's playing to your heart. And that's where comedy and all art belongs. Art is not intellectual. Art is primal. Uh, I think we've been through a hell of a lot in the past couple of years, and it's time to laugh. It's time to unbutton, wear sweatpants to the theater, or unbutton that top button and, and let out that gut laughter. I really believe that. The absolute perfect time. Everyone needs an escape right now. What better escape than Jackass? I'm sure most of us grew up with Jackass as part of our childhood, our teenage years, our 20s, 30s. It reaches every single generation because in the end, we've all got a silly sense of humor and there's nothing sillier than Jackass, nothing more entertaining. Yeah, he's been showing up um, every single week in WWE and he's been having the time of his life. Like, I'm amazed how much he's put in to his time in WWE. Sometimes celebrities will show up to promote their movie. They'll do minimum amount of effort. Johnny's been putting his body on the line every week. He's been putting, giving us his time every single week and he participated in the Royal Rumble. He did a heck of a job. I was genuinely impressed. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries and jumps me tonight to make an impression. I think he might be back. He'll be coming for the WWE Championship. <laughs> I will just like WWE, Jackass and WWE are very similar. You will always be entertained whenever you check out our product or whenever you check out Jackass. There's nothing funnier than a man kicking another man in the crotch. <laughs> Sometimes I do things that shouldn't be done and I go next level and barely survive. On this film, my testicles didn't survive. One of them exploded. But it's, you know, to make people laugh. I have a good time. We need that. We need to connect, we need to have some nostalgia, bring us back as humans on this planet. We need this. So it's an honor for me to be able to like, you know, explode my right testicle for you to laugh and have a good time. Well, it's weird. It's like we go back 22 years now and we, back then in the, like, the late 90s and 2000s, life was completely different. Uh, we all knew each other through skateboarding and snowboarding and surfing and that subculture of music and all that. And, uh, nowadays you can just pop into a social media account and all of a sudden you're friends with everybody. But So we grew up together, like we've experienced this now, this is 22 years of jackass. I can't tell you how many like people have come up to me and said, man, my dad and I connected, we bonded through jackass and it was because of that that we had this connection and we became good friends, you know, or, or whatever, it helps people through hard times. And that to see in a theater with your friends and your family, it's, it's a very special thing, so I would say go see it in the theater. It was, it was awesome. It was like we'd never been apart. And, uh, but uh, we did a little shoot to see if the energy was still there. We knew it would be, but, but everyone came in hot. And we got like three bits the first day, maybe more. A lot of nudity. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, it was amazing. So we knew this one, this movie turned out amazing. At first we were a little resistant when it got mentioned, maybe bringing some new guys just to, to, to sw switch it up. And, and um, we were kind of like, I don't, is that really necessary? But, but then we, when we met them, when we filmed with them, they were awesome. And they were just down for anything. And they, it seemed like they were meant to be with us from the beginning. Other than they were a little younger. <laughs> <laughs>
we set the bar pretty high, but this one not only blows them all away, it blows away every other movie opener ever. And you can take that to the bank. <laughs> I'm so excited that we're in a theater about to watch this movie. It's a long time coming, and I'm just, I, I, don't, know, no, I don't even know what to do with myself, honestly, right now. <laughs> it's a dream come true to be able to work with these guys. I, you know, I've looked up to them my whole life, and being able to be a part of this is just like, I don't know, it's like all I've ever wanted. <laughs> like, at first it was like, do these guys actually like us, or do they hate us? But then like, you know, we started doing gnarly stuff, and then they just like, brought us in with open arms, you know, we just, it was like we were friends forever. <laughs> everyone loves doing dumb stuff with their friends, and I think seeing, like, Jackass just reminds everyone of that, and, like, you know, that's something I would never forget. Anytime I do something dumb with my friends, I remember it forever. <laughs> like, if you can go to a theater and see it, that's the best way to see it. It's, a, it's an experience. You're going to walk out of that theater with more friends than you had when you walked in. I'm ecstatic. I can't like even explain it. It's been a dream come true for me to work with Paramount and Jackass and Gorilla Flicks and even just like seeing the OGs do their thing, you know. I'm a newbie so I gotta like prove myself for sure, but I, yeah, it's a, I can't wait to see it in the theaters. Yeah, I mean, once you show up, you know, they kind of test you, you know, see if you got a sense of humor or not. But uh, that definitely, you know, took me in after a while. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like one of them, you know, I want to do stupid shit and for the boys, you know, and make, make the boys laugh. So I kind of fit in perfect, but yeah, they kind of give you, you know, they give you a little test for sure, a little rookie test, but yeah, I passed that one for sure. I mean, after the last couple of years, it's kind of been, you know, a bummer. Everyone has to stay inside and like not enjoy what they want to do. So I hope everyone enjoys this and gets a laugh from it because it's nonstop, hilarious gigs, bits, I mean, yeah, the boys get injured a lot too, so you're going to love that. I mean, who doesn't want to see someone get hurt, you know? So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to watch this. I mean, you see it by yourself, you're going to want to look over to the next person and be like laughing with them, you know? So it's better if you definitely bring your friends, you know? But yeah, you, you're going to want to laugh with someone. So, I, yeah, I suggest bringing all your friends, definitely. I'll try to describe it even though it's indescribable. And it's just like we've won the lottery. So happy to be here, so lucky to be here. It's exciting and humbling, and we, we've, we've made a good product, and we can't wait for everybody to see it. We know what each other's gonna do, and that really helps in the world of press, uh, pranking and messing with each other, you know? I, know? I know everybody's next move, and they know mine. We know everybody's fears and, and what really triggers them. We were hesitant at first on the new guys. I think like any, any group would, and then they proved themselves right out of the gate. They were funny and fearless, and, and, and are, I'm very proud to call them castmates at this point, for sure. I think because people associate us with people they know, everybody always says that, you know, you're like my cousin, you're like my uncle, you're like my crazy friend, you know, from work, that sort of thing. People relate to us. Yeah, we're not, we're not fancy lads. <laughs> I like the history of all this just boggles my mind. The fact that we did it in the first place and the fact that we're still here is just like, wow, I can't believe I'm still standing here at one of these premieres. Fans can look forward to the best movie we've ever made. I guarantee it. Whoa, wait, we made another one? Oh, I didn't even notice. No, I did notice, and it was uh, so much fun, and it was like something I'd want to do personally for years and years and years, and we did it, and it's almost unbelievable that it happened, and I'm so stoked, beyond stoked. I mean, to me, it just seems like friendship, but I mean, to everyone else, it's special. To me, it's just like, these are my friends, my bros that, like, I, you know, from years and years and years, and we're, you know, making a movie or not, we're always in, in touch, doing fun things together, and, you know, we all, a lot of us live in different places, but we always find time for each other. So, and then to be able to do something like this is just the icing on the cake of friendship. Yeah, we added five new cast members and they're awesome. At first, you know, all of us old guys were like, wait a second, I don't know if this is a good idea. And then instantly we're like, this is the greatest idea. So like that, they're welcome. And we, you know, ended up being you know, just bonded. You know, doing stuff like this, you become quick friends with people. So it just was like instantly like, shh, so good. I mean, come on, like, we just want to laugh and have fun and like forget about all your problems and all the world's problems right now and just have some fun, you know? This is it. There's not even a plot to have to pay attention to. It's awesome. Oh man, like we really stepped it up a few notches. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff in this one. Like I am claiming it to be our very best one yet. It really is. It's just so much mayhem.
It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Uh, it's hot. Thank Daddy. Here's the devil. Look at him, Johnny Knoxville, man of the hour. Let's hear it for Johnny Knoxville. Oh, yeah. But it's okay for you to come to my work for what, a month? Ha <laughs> ha! A month? Showing up uninvited, getting in my business all the time, that's okay. But when I come, it's just repay the favor, show my respect to the bad guy. I'm the bad guy here. I hope you're getting this entertainment tonight. I'm the bad guy for coming. I'm trying to you're show the bad guy. What are you talking about? Save me. Goons. Yeah. Why are we goons? Are goons? goons? Who knows goons? Look who's talking. You, you were asked not to come. Okay. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. The man's brandishing a weapon. It's a red party. You're not you doing this in the words. It's not a security. You can, you look at me, photographers there are. Johnny Knoxville's brandishing a weapon. And uh, that's okay, apparently, security. right? We're We're allow security. ballets that's on the red okay. carpet here. Yeah. Are you having to be tossed out? Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's a cool Tough thing. Tough guy, yeah. Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. Hey! Because that is Christ. Isn't he a Democrat? Come on, nuts. Beat it, nerd. Oh, <laughs> 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 